Whoa. Hey guys, first fan video of what would we call this? This is a Dan Pete Jonas assemblage, which is yes. uh, yeah, you three way cool. fan testing. Yes, yeah, but we've had we've done that many times. We've, we've Pete and I have had many three ways. Oh yeah, uh, yeah that's, that's what, what she said. said. Um, Jinx, you owe me a coke. Um, but this is the first one with this particular group of people, which is a very definitive, distinct uh, yeah. trio of collectors. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know what to call this. This is the, you know, this is the, the I guess it's just the Jonas Clark trio. Yeah, trio um, play. Yeah. So, and if you saw my videos, you know, this was the surprise fan uh, from the last showroom visit. I mm -hmm. kind of, I, I hoped and had my fingers crossed and kind of suspected that we would find at least one fan uh, on our on our final visit that was hidden that we didn't know about and I thought it would be a new in box fan that was buried I was wrong it was an installed fan in a room I didn't know existed so, so there was this there was the side room that said do not room. enter but I didn't I didn't even see the door like the door okay. wasn't even in my yep. in my field of vision because I, I spent so in. little room in that shade and I spent a little so little time in the room with the shades because I wasn't looking for shades yeah so I went over there, uh, somebody went back, The what was her name, the lady? Susan. Susan said that, yeah, this is just my room for storage stuff. But then Pops took me back, went back to look for catalogs, and I just kind of saw him going into that room and thought, I'll just kind of follow gently along to just see what it's like. I want to see everywhere. I'm curious. And I went in and I saw this fan, and apparently I made a noise of excitement. I don't even remember doing that. But then I leaned out and said, hey, Dan. He said, just a minute busy at the moment, and I thought, I'm going to have him come over, and I'm going to say, Dan, I found something in here. Uh, I'm not sure if you're going to like it. Maybe, maybe not, and see what his reaction was, but he was expecting something cool. I don't know these well enough to know that it's long arms versus short or not Calcutta blades, but if I had a home with, we've talked about foyer fans, if I had a home with like a side door with a mudroom, this is my mudroom fan. I love it, love it, love it. Now, I was going to say, I've only seen the small motor with the short, short arms, and I've never seen a Calcutta with short cane of this type. This could have come from the factory this way, either as a model I don't know about, or um, as like a factory, you know, variant, you know. We're out of the one arms, throw the other ones in the box, they won't notice, you know. And short... Sure, and Knowing what you do about they probably or may not have come this way aside, looking at it just like this aesthetically and with wrong blades, do you like it? I like would. I, I wouldn't hang it like this. The, the short arms or long arms on a small motor bothers me. Okay. It, 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 the proportions are just wrong. I would, what I would do, I love this enough that if I had, I would take a short arm send it to a casting shop, have short arms cast, unless somebody has a set of spares. If somebody has a set of spares, I will buy them. But if, if nobody has a set of spares, I would, I love it enough to have the right arms cast, painted to match. We're, we're probably talking about at least a $100 investment. Mm -hmm. um, and if somebody has a set of brown arms that are their short arms, I will pay you $100 for them. That's how much, that's how much I love this fan with the right arms. Blades, the cane blades are great. Uh, they, they, I would, I, I would absolutely do it with these blades, whether they're original or not, and they very well may be. Mm -hmm. Even if the arms are original, I still want the short. Now, one thing I can say that you could do with this fan is this would be a Wait. fan. Hey, sorry, sorry for interrupting you. I just found a screenshot of a Calcutta catalog that I hadn't seen before. This was an option. This was their forty-two inch option. So for thirty-six, measure it and see. Because for thirty-six, it is. Um, I'm stepping on things. Yeah. Uh, where's the tape measure? In the toolbox, where it goes. Mm -hmm. well, the toolbox has... Nope, wrong. That's that's the top of the toolbox. The, the tape measure is in the bottom. Box. The big, big, big right, part. Right, right, right. Where apparently candy is stored, according to Team Jonas. Now, looking at this catalog, the arms would be correct and the blades would not because it would have come with tight weave cane. But again, this could be a showroom special. What do you do? Okay, so this is actually... How they made a 42 inch. I, I, and I still stand by everything I said. I want the short arms because the, the proportions throw me off. Whether it's correct or not, I would I would pay up. I would pay a hundred bucks for for brown short arms. I would pay almost as much for short arms of any other finish that I can paint. 
You can let me finish a sentence, okay. Jonas. It's not going to kill you. No, no, it's no. Not, it's not going to kill Jonas. Let me finish a sentence. Nope. I'm just putting my finger up to say when you're done with that, I have something to say on that you need See, to See, he still couldn't do it. He still couldn't do it. He had to say a thing. So, um... Ah, fuck it. Sell me... If anybody has the right arm, sell them to me. If not, I'll get them cast. Go ahead. Does the catalog you found show these blades? I only found this one screenshot, and I'm going to keep looking. This is this is literally all I have. This is I don't have any other JPEGs from that oh, catalog. Oh, man. And that shows tight weave cane. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep looking, though. And it also shows that Chrome was an option for these. Mm. I know that. I have a Chrome one. I'm dumb. It's labeled American mm. Industries. And it the shows slightly different blade arms. These have a closed diamond in the middle of this, and it'll have an open one. You're right. Okay, well... Well, it's set to low, so... Well, Pete hates when we talk for a while at the beginning of the video. I'm just afraid of boring people out there, you know. Well, they'll skip ahead if it... Skip it. Skip ahead to five minutes if you're bored. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, where already started. That's that's its low trim set. I didn't touch it. Yeah, I would have wanted to see what it was like there at the showroom where it was installed. And yeah, that's that's a, that's too fast for me. And if I installed it somewhere using the variable speed, I would adjust the low trim. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Easily. So let's see what it's drawing. It's so well, right now it's drawing 0.35 amps. Nice amount of air about, for that speed. Yeah. And 42 watts and half a power factor. So I'm just, what I do then in this case is just start inching it up. Yeah. I have not found uh, that yet, but I found a Terra that I've never seen before, a Terra finish I've never seen before. Somebody has a black and brass Terra uh, labeled Calcutta. I, I don't know Me. who's this, whose fan black this is. Black and polished? Black and polished. I don't know whose fan this is. While I would never hang black and polished, it's just not my jam. Okay. That's really cool to see. And it really flies. And oh, yeah. More so than the one. I thought this was going to go too slow because it was designed for... Shorter arms, right? But it sounds like this motor maybe has a different capacitor. Um, it's got a healthy breeze designed to go with the. Okay. And it's only drawing 0. 0.62 amps. Lovely. About 75 watts, and call it a power factor of one. So, we'll do spin down. I just turn it off. And do spin down. So I found the rest of that catalog. They were bad cell phone pictures somebody posted on VCF. The only cane shown is tight weave. Okay. So these look like Casablanca blades. That's exactly what they look like, yeah. but the showroom didn't sell Casablanca. So where did they come from? They didn't sell Casablanca until after Casablanca bought Homestead, which was long after Casablanca stopped making cane. Yeah, that's so... Yeah, because those blades, they look like Casablanca cane. Do we, know Dan, do we know, Dan, how long a short Casablanca cane blade is just as a blade? 17 inches, unless you find a very early one, they're 16. But I believe... Um, yeah, I'll measure that. Let it spin down first. Um, okay. Lovely. A nice long spin down on that. But I think I, I think any uh, blades of this style would be 17 inches or 16. 16. 16? Yep. So they're probably early Casablanca. They're either early Casablanca or... But Calcutta's were 16 after Casablanca went to 17. So... so what I'm gonna do they, Calcutta changed time. at the same time? Don't think so. I don't know for oh, sure, Calcutta, but I don't think you so. You said Calcutta's were 16 after Casablanca went to 17. What were Calcutta's before? As far as I know, they were always 16. Okay. But Calcutta was not around. Well, Calcutta was Terra's before. Well, before. So. All right. So I have reversed it. We're going to do reverse. Let's see what's draw. Yep, same exactly current. the same. And I'm just going to... And just to Pete's point, some people really like talking at the beginning of the video. Some people really don't. I would like to think that the people that don't would just know to skip ahead a few yeah. minutes. I it's, love it. Some people that they like that just as much as the fan demonstrations, and some people like it when Pete or Jonas or whoever is together will, and will playfully banter. Some people prefer the trivia, the information. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't usually watch the spin down on speeds and all that, but I come for the banter. I come for the conversation. I love it. Okay, okay. Because I hear history about the fan and history about where you got it and history about maybe childhood notices where you saw these and that. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Love well, sure. It. Okay, and it's drawing the same current, so. Also a nice, yep, nice. Yeah, I can flip it back, reverse. He reverses back, Jones. Reverse, yep. Back. Yep, and you can stop it by hand too while you're there. All right. We already did spin down. We don't need to. All right. Otherwise. Let me ask you a question, Pete. Yeah. Would there be a place that you would want to hang this in the enclosed year? In the what? Or is it too nice for that? I think it's just a little nice for that. Okay. The enclosure is what we call the bottom, uh, the, bo the the ground floor of the barn. Okay. It's yeah. it's it's the uh, climate controlled ish portion sort of the barn. Of. Yeah, half climate controlled. Cool. And um, so, where do we think this is going to start? Jonas, take the first bet. Okay. Somebody um, somebody commented on my video. And so the first, Jonas's first video he for that small Demco spinner, yeah. he guessed it would start at thirteen. Oh. And some and uh, one of the comments is, I literally laughed out loud when Jonas guessed thirteen. So you you made somebody very mirthful with with your foolishness there, Jonas. Excellent. Well, that was uh, for anyone watching. I do not know power factors and speeds and motors. But you and all will that. soon. I don't know that. You yeah. will soon. Learning it now. Well, yes. one of the things I notice I learned over time is like common uh, combination values of those three and four speed wall controls. Yeah. Capacitor based and commonly like my I have a Panama in my living room, and it's on a four speed, and that and it's a standard four speed value of five. 8 and 13 and then high. Yep. 5 is the most common value for low. Okay, well, I'm going to try I'm going to try 5 then and see where we get because I capacitor values I definitely know zero about never okay. changed one never worked with. But you still you still get to guess first though. Yeah, hmm. you you want to uh, take I'm going to say 4. All right. What do you think, Pete? I'm going to actually uh chance it and say 2. Then I'll go with 3. I'll be right in between. Okay. All right. One, two. Dan okay. one. No, Pete one. Oh, Pete one. Yeah, he yeah, guessed you three. Were... I guessed oh, two. two or two. Okay, yep. Yeah. I'll take the credit though. I'll win the bet. Hmm. Solid, Pete. Solid. Yeah, but I kind of figured this is gonna start pretty low. Like, one, it's very rare, but two, we've seen a lot start on two, where it's just enough to get it moving. And that's a really nice. What I would call restaurant lower, atmospheric lower. Yeah, here's three. A little bit of just enough air circulation to go. Yep, okay. And then here's nice four. Lower. This is what four does. Okay, so four lower. is like, because it's 42 inch, I think of this as like functional low. Yeah, absolutely. Where, There's a nice air yeah, nice there. Where I kind of see it as a standard three speed fan would put out. Mm -hmm. Especially on smaller fans, I usually think of having a low be a little bit faster just yep. to compensate mm -hmm. in order to make the low speed effective. Yep. Or like a big Fasco great room, I have a nice low speed on that because it's bigger. It's like 54, maybe 56 inch. So, you, so a slower low is good for that. Here is five. So this would be very common uh, low speed you'd get out of many wall controls. Yep. Right here. So as long as something is, starts before five, then you're good and you can use that control then. I'm glad I could get a wall control for my 29-inch uh, Monterey Homestead. Mm. Its speeds were killer fast, killer fast, and stupid killer fast. Well, and with a stroboscope, <coughs> slow, low and medium were the same exact speed. What um, okay. wall control did you end up using? One of those little four, four position, four speed uh, common ones. Well, Wait, you don't know the slot, you don't know the capacitor values? I have no idea. Okay. Okay, because uh, one of the things you gotta be careful of is. He's, he knows about resonant frequencies. Yeah. We, went, we did some testing before. Okay, so here's six. And seven and now eight 
I've, I have some three speed controls that are <coughs> five and eight, where they're low and medium. Yeah. So this would be your medium, yeah. or low medium if it's a four speed. Mm -hmm. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So we could actually do a uh, four, seven, eleven on this high. fan. Yeah. Because that's another common, common uh, uh, combination value of control is four, seven, eleven. And that's a perfectly, to me, a perfectly respectable medium high. Yes. Or here is twelve. Because. Now, I have Fanimation uh, three-speed controls, and their learning remotes are 5 and 12. And then here's 13. This would have been the speed that that I would have gotten on my uh, 5813. So this is a good medium-high, too. Yeah. I usually like what's called a backed-off high, where I want it moving air, but maybe not insane. Yeah. And some... I have a speed control that is 6, 8, and 14, which I currently use on a new tone out at the barn. Saw somebody posting online somewhere, not a fan collector, asking, is, is there anybody in the entire world insane enough to run their ceiling fans on high speed? And after a while, I realized that she is used to cheap, bad quality fans that when you turn them on high wobble like crazy and so she's like oh no it's gonna fall off the ceiling <sighs> so it's just yeah oh yeah that was what she meant here's 15 well basically you should be able to at times when you need it yep. I was, the fan I, I have two fans in my bedroom as both of you know and most yep. of my viewers and when I am in my bedroom because I, I I get <coughs> I cannot sleep if I'm hot. Yep. Both oh, yeah. fans are on high. The only time that both fans are not on high is if uh, my wife is cold or and or I'm not in there. Man, I wish I had a fan I could turn on high above my bed in the hotel. Ooh. I hear that. Do you want a fan for the hotel, like a desk fan or a portable fan that you can use for your room? No, nah, it's okay. I just, I just, under their covers, I either have the sheet and I'm cold or I have the comforter and I'm roast. That's it. Okay, here's I'm familiar 16. with the, the yeah the motel oh, seventeen, yeah. eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So and we're still at point five. And what I remember, if I hit the high switch, it's drawing point six two. So I'm still well under with twenty. And you were here at twenty. We were with what? Point five three. Wow. Okay. So that means you're safe with any wall control. You're not going to go over. Yeah. Like on high, medium. Mm -hmm. Like 22, 25, 30. Let's see if I can. Not over? Nope. 33. When Jonas and I tested fans Tuesday, yeah. not one of the fans we tested went over going all the way up to 40. Yeah, I get that. Except for the... the well, I just maxed it out, too, and I'm at .6 flat. So, mm, and to be clear, that was just the ones we did on Tuesday. On Monday, we did the Lavelle, and the Lavelle does have resonant frequencies, I believe. Okay. Yeah. All right, since now in this fan, we actually did the solid state already. Yep, and it was is, silent. Which is on there. We don't really yep. need to do mm -hmm. this one. Yep. So I'm going to do zero to high with this one. So, uh, Jonas, what do you think? No end rush, small end rush, or big end rush? I'm going to say small. Okay. What do you say, Pete? Uh, no end rush. I might, then I'm stuck with big. That's All what right. she said. Point three six three. And what did it draw on high? Point six two, I believe. So whoever said small wins. You did. Did I? Yeah. Okay. It, yeah, I said none. So we got one for Jonas it's, and one for Pete. Yeah, it's it's almost yours is it's just so small that it's almost none. Yeah, slight in rush. Yeah. Which is not bad, you know. The... Okay, that's well, that's all I can think that's of. That's it for this fan. We got 
<clears throat> we have a long day of fan testing and projects ahead of us. Luckily, we got a pretty early start, and we're getting a... We're not getting up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow. We're going to start in the afternoon, so we can we can work late tonight, get a good night's rest, and then tomorrow, you know, so we got... My point is we got lots more tonight, so stay with us.